Hi, it's Tico Venturi with Keller Williams Realty and the Venturi team with the March 2018 market update. It's April already and feeling like spring in New Mexico, so it's it's actually been, been really nice. Home sales have been really hot and that's what I wanna talk about and what we have going on. So I'm gonna look down at the chart here, so excuse me. Well, I do that. Um, I'm gonna, I started with this chart. This is uh, homes for sale and I've broken this down by price range. So. Uh, as we go through this, you'll see the different numbers here. The, the under 200 is the, the blue, the two to three is the yellow, the three to five, or three to 450, excuse me, is the uh, red, and then the 450 and above. And so the, the big story has been and continues to be um, not as many homes for sale. You can see this is the last three years, the March uh, number of homes for sale. Uh, the, the place that, that I find it really interesting is especially under this 200, you can see we have 38% uh, less just than last year homes for sale in that price range. And really all price ranges are down, um, not quite as much in these a uh, little bit higher prices. The other thing I wanna look at is the uh, a month supply of inventory, which is a it's, a, it's a real good indicator of supply and versus demand ratios. And we, we do it as month supply of inventory. So that's the number of homes that are available um, to sell versus the number of homes selling in made up in months. So uh, if you look at like the, the 200 and under, you can see we're at 1.6 month supply, meaning if no more homes come on the market, there'll be no more homes uh, to sell within a month and a half based on the current uh, absorption. And so you know it's it's uh, overall it's 2.6 but you can see in the higher price here it's still six months more than six months uh 450 and above which which is to be expected you know six months is still kind of a balanced market so if somebody says well it's a it's a seller's market well it's a seller's market in some of these price ranges, but up in the uh, the higher price ranges, it's still a buyer's market, which actually is an opportunity for somebody that's maybe moving up from that two two fifty house up to that four four fifty five hundred thousand dollar house. So you're going from a uh, seller's market into a buyer's market in in some cases. Uh, the other thing we want to look at is prices, prices, prices. So. Sale prices, average sale price in Albuquerque is now 233, almost 234, which is as high as we've seen in a long time. Uh, but average price is not necessarily appreciation, although we are seeing uh, a, a good amount of appreci appreciation. And we can really see that in the price per, per square foot number. Um, if you look at March this year versus March last year, overall the average price per square foot is up 8%. Now, does that mean we have an 8% increase in home prices? Probably not. Now, if we looked at this, uh, let me look at this another way here, if I can get to it. If we look at this annualized, um, the price per square foot, we've had a 4%, a 4.5% move um, that's annualized. And so that's probably a little bit closer to where our, our market appreciation is right now in the Albuquerque area. So hope that helps. If you have any questions about real estate, obviously reach out to us. We're at 448-8888. We also have a radio show every uh, Saturday morning on 93.7 FM at 9 a.m. talking about all of this stuff, real estate, what's going on in real estate, and tips and tricks and all the stuff to help you buy a home and sell a home. Thanks for watching.